was happening. So there is good news and there is bad news for everybody who is only concerned about two brands at a gaming uh, convention. The bad news is your brands lost completely. They just fucking showed up and try as they might, they just failed. Xbox showed up and showed us this thing called the Xbox One X, which sounds like an ex-girlfriend, an ex-wife, an ex you used to fuck. I'm sorry, everybody has said the same thing. They just can't name a product. And this just sounds the same. Its name is horrible. And while it might be the most powerful console to date, it's also a hair bit late to the party. I know I'm going to get a lot of flag for that. I don't give a damn. If you believe or feel some type of way about that, um, I don't give a damn. Phil Spencer, you took over the company a hair bit too late, buddy. It's not 2013. Sony has uh, had... They've had the most powerful console on the market for the past four years. And you've been playing catch-up for the past four years and just haven't been able to do it. Let's look at this thing in a logical standpoint here. You have come in and you've been able to take five months off of Sony's fucking belt. Five months. That's it. That's all you've been able to fucking do. You've managed to make the Xbox One stand up, which is what people wanted it to fucking do in the first place. You've made it more attractive to the consumer, which is something that Don Matrix probably should have done in the first place, but he's a fucking moron. You've taken the focus off of having a diverse library, which is apparent when you notice that majority of your fucking games, Phil, are shooters. I don't care if you feel some type of way about that, but name one game that Phil supports that's not a shooter. Name one. He went on stage and said that the games he saw in Japan were funny, and the first game that pops up is a fighting game. How is a fighting game funny, Phil? It's Dragon Ball Z. I didn't see one clip in that game that was funny. Didn't make me laugh. It's a fighting game. That's like saying Street Fighter's funny, and there's not one snippet underneath of Bison's bitch ass saying anything. It just, it wasn't funny. Where was the humor? Either you're really bad at comedian style anything, you don't know comics or any kind of com comedic style anything, or your idea of a joke is, hey, look at what I'm going to cancel in the next seven months because it's from Japan and I don't give a damn about Japanese entertainment on my fucking brand, which is kind of how I took that segment because, well, scale bound. So, again... I saw some games that, you know, I have an Xbox One S that I would like to play, but I'm not holding my breath to fucking think they're ever going to see the light of day because they're not shooters, and Phil has been fucked Japanese-type games on his fucking brand since he took over. So again, I'm not really looking forward to them. Um, one thing they did do that I'm kind of excited about, although it took them four fucking years to get there, is they finally made the Xbox One what it always should have been, which is an all-in-one fucking Xbox. They started with backwards compatibility for the 360, and I've been pretty big about saying with my friends anyway, I'm going to say it now here, they needed to have the original OG, triple OG Xbox games playable on the th fucking Xbox One. They needed this. 
but again it's probably going to be like with the 360 limited to what they say because the library on the xbox original just like the 360 is very diverse in comparison to the xbox one the xbox original and the 360's library are very diverse when you look at them there's more exclusive content on both the original xbox and the xbox 360 in comparison to the xbox one something you feel know nothing about you call it exclusive when it's available on PC, might be Windows 10, but it's still a PC. So it's not exclusive. Exclusive means, hey man, I can only buy it on your piece of plastic. You, you really don't get that. Which is something I felt you really needed to ensure Scorpio is going to sell. You didn't touch on the hard drive part of the um, Xbox One X which I felt was kind of shortcoming because I've said this before I bought the Xbox One Slim with two terabytes in the bitch and it's preloaded with five fucking games and I bought it for a hundred dollars cheaper I don't even think I paid four hundred dollars for it but it was still a hundred dollars cheaper at most how are you going to convince someone like me to buy an Xbox One X for $100 more at least with nothing on it? That's a task you didn't even fucking try to do. And again, I know you're going to feel some type of way about that. And I understand I'm going into seven minutes talking about Xbox, but that's something you didn't even fucking address. And that's something I feel like made you lose you can show off forza and a fucking car that has nothing to do with video games and just helps you show off forza and maybe it shows up as a dlc part in the game but it doesn't do anything for me phil because you're gonna up you know you're gonna have a patch for gears of war 4 because i own it and forza 3 because i own it Bitch, I don't care. A lot of people just don't give a damn. We're concerned about what are you going to do to make us decide that a $500 price tag is worth it when we don't know everything we need to know. What are you going to do? You get what I'm saying? That's kind of the point here. That's what we were waiting on. And you just didn't address that. That's why I feel you, this is why I feel, feel you've lost. Then you had Sony's press conference. Sony's press conference was a disaster. I mean, they were predictable as all hell, pretty much because I felt like I was watching 2016. A lot of people said the same thing. Were we just, did we get fucking pranked? Did, was Aston Kutcher backstage going, hey man, let's punk these sons of bitches. Um, just replay 2016. Um, because they just showed us the same shit. I mean, it was almost in sync with everything. The only difference was they had VR more in depth. I mean, outside that, it was the same fucking show. And I was looking forward to me getting excited to buy VR for some reason, and they dropped the ball with that. Final Fantasy XV is a good game, even though I don't play it that much. It's still a good game. And what you have for me is fishing? Um, in case you guys at Sony and Square Enix haven't got the memo ever since this other game's inception, um, Zelda has you beat with fishing by a couple fucking years. And if I want to fish, I'll play Zelda. Because you can do that. I don't care to play a fishing game with Final Fantasy. I, I just don't do it. I don't even fish in Final Fantasy to fish. I don't. I don't think anybody gives a fuck. Everybody at fucking the Sony press conference seemed like they were either on Prozac or Xanax or high on something that made them sleepy. They honestly had no reaction to anything. 
And again, I know you're going to feel some type of way about what I'm saying to you, but go watch the press conference. You could honestly hear crickets in the fucking auditorium. Sean got on stage and everybody was just kind of like, this fucking guy, what's he going to do? He was in a business suit. I've seen him at other shows in a t-shirt, more excited. It was like somebody had pulled his fucking tampon string and went, no, fucking no. What the fuck? Destiny showed off a trailer and it was like, who the fuck cares? They just didn't come with it. And then today we get to the biggest and best one to date because they didn't have anything to prove. They had nothing to prove. They had nothing to fucking prove. Nintendo. They weren't even fucking there. They weren't on stage. They had a pre-recorded video. And they did exactly what I said they should do in order to fucking win. And they did exactly that. They showed up. And they basically did. You want some games? You want some games? We got games. And that's exactly what they did. And they won just by that alone. And if you feel some type of way about that, I don't give a damn. They didn't say when fucking Days Gone was going to release. They didn't give us a date. Sony didn't give us a date for anything. I didn't see one. Every time the trailer would end, they'd just go to the next one. They didn't say anything about a release, holiday, any of that. Nintendo said that all the games they were showing were going to be released sometime this year. And if they were not, it said sometime next year. And they won. This is exactly how they won. I could tell you how they won. They showed off the number four and the word Metroid Prime in development. That game has been talked about since the Switch came out. More and more people have been wondering about it. And that's all they had to do was say it was coming. And they did just that. And now everybody is talking about it. Everybody is super excited about Metroid 4. I knew it was coming because exactly what I said is going to happen with Metroid is happening. Metroid skips every third Nintendo cycle. They were on regular Nintendo, Super Nintendo. They skipped the 64. They were on GameCube. They were on Wii. They skipped the Wii U. Now they're going to be on Switch. It skips every third Nintendo cycle. And now it's coming to the Switch. That's all they had to do. And they won. That's all they did. They showed up. They said, you want some games? We got some games. We have games. Games are coming. They impressed the shit out of me with that. They talked about Pokemon Tournament DX, which is deluxe. Um, I don't have Pokemon Tournament. I'll be picking it up for my Switch. Um, I, st- I love my Switch. It's a fucking great system. If you don't have one yet, I don't understand how you can't go out and buy one after this fucking um, video. It is incredible. Reggie was barely on the screen. He just said, hey, man, um, the way we play games are changing. Reggie, perfect way to fucking deliver that, my man. You said it exactly the way it needed to be said the way we play is changing with the switch you guys that is honest to god the truth the way the switch is being you know accepted in the community the way people are going about buying it tablets and phones have um chrono trigger grand theft auto 3 vice city Um, Final Fantasy full-fledged games. A lot of these games are showing up on phones and they're full versions of the original games on the old consoles. Phones are not just uh, Candy Crush machines or Angry Bird machines anymore. They are actually showing up with full-fledged games on phones. And Nintendo is seeing this and just rolling with it. So it's becoming about being more convenient. And the Switch is convenient, and it's going with that. And PlayStation and Xbox, they're just brands. They're respectable brands from 
a respectable, bigger conglomerate company. That's all they are. And they just did not bring answers to questions everybody had. Sure, they had great game footage for fucking games that people want to play, but they didn't they didn't do anything. Sony's show was legitimately a snooze fest. And Xbox, Phil, you didn't do what you should have done. You didn't come out and you didn't sell the fucking Xbox One X or Scorpio, which is what everybody's still going to fucking call it, because the Xbox One X sounds like something nobody should pick up. I'm sorry, I know it's a big fucking deal with the power and everything, but I mean, just think about it. Ex-girlfriend, ex-wife, ex-fucking whatever that just sounds like something nobody should buy okay you should have just left it at xbox scorpio and it would have been fine or xbox scorpion or xbox 1.5 anything would have been better than that but no you had to call it the xbox one x i've said this before and i'm gonna end it here phil you need a trade-in program for this particular model just so you can guarantee that sales will be above just tech junkies and fucking hardcore Xbox fans because people are not going to want to go out and buy this fucking machine. That's where I'm going to end this video. E3, the drama leading up to it definitely affected it. The games... Um... What they showed so far from what I've seen. I didn't get to see Knack 2 because I don't watch the pre-shows. I saw a little bit of Gran Turismo. And I, I'm not a Gran Turismo fan. I'm really not. I've never been. Forza 7. Unfortunately, I'm not a Forza fan. I'm a Horizon fan. Um, I'm not going to be picking up either one of those. Sorry. And then... I'll be picking up Knack 2. I love Knack. Knack is a fun game. I played and beat the first one. Um, Mario Odyssey looks great. Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Holy fuck. I can't wait. Holiday, man. Christmas. I know what I want. Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Fucking got Xenoblade Chronicles X last year. Man, I fucking cannot wait. No, I got it a couple years ago. Fucking cannot wait. That is going to be my shit. I have all the Xenoblade Chronicle games. Um, I just call them Xenoblade. But I got them all. I have even the one on Game... Uh, fuck, I almost said Game Boy. I even have the uh, 3DS port. Um, this one. I even have this, yes. Because I love this fucking game. Um, all the games that I've seen look amazing. Even if pretty much they all snoozed pretty much through the fucking entire conference at Sony. Um, Detroit Become Human actually has made it on one of my most wanted playlists. Days Gone, I actually want to play, even though I'm not a fucking zombie fan anymore, I actually want to play that game now. Um, God of War has me a little intrigued. I'll play it because I've played all the other ones, but I don't know what to expect. And Uncharted, I've beaten all the Uncharted. I'm going to beat this one. I can't wait for it. I heard a rumor that it's supposed to be coming out sometime within the next couple of months if it doesn't get pushed, but... Uncharted 4 got pushed quite a bit. I'm not expecting this to come out anytime soon. Anyways, I will see you guys next time. I got to go find the Treehouse event and watch that and see what they say. Heard there was supposed to be a lot of love for the 3DS. Haven't seen any. So I'm going to go check that out and find out if there is. If there is, I'll be making a 3DS video talking about that. Putting my friend code on that video as well. Deuces.